This is part six and hopefully the final part of a simple Wordle clone in AppLab on code.org. We have everything working on our game. You guess what the file letter word is here. You click submit. It gives you a list of your guest letters, tells you how many guesses it took, and all the correct letters in the correct spot are green. Uh, if you guess the wrong thing, the correct spots are green, the letters that are totally wrong are gray, and if you and if you guess the correct letter in the wrong spot, it'll pop up as yellow. Just like the real game, except for we have an input button, an input field instead of a keyboard down here. Now the one thing we don't have that we need to fix now is that the answer is always hard coded right here on line one. And it would be better if we could have a whole list of words to choose from and maybe it would be random that way. Uh, you wouldn't know, even if it's your own game, you wouldn't know what you're trying to guess. So let's do that now. The first thing we need is a giant list of words. So we're gonna click on this data table here. And there's all kinds of cool stuff in here, but we're gonna go for language and words. And let's go ahead and import this table. So you'll see it pop up over here. And you can click to take a look. There are thousands and thousands of words in here. The, the parts of this that we're gonna need are the column with the actual word. Notice that word is capitalized and the column with the length, because we need a very specific length. We need five letters long. So uh, there will be some of those in here. I haven't found one yet. There's one. So there looks like it's the first one on the list. Okay, let's learn how to pull those out of that table. Under data, you're gonna need to get read records right here and stick it up. We want that to happen before we click uh, it'll give you my table as the default name, but you need to switch it to the name of ours, which is words with a capital W. So I'll change that here. All right, if you hit run, it's going to console log everything from that list. There's a bunch of them, but they're all going to pop up as undefined. Let me explain what you're looking at. First, these numbers are the ID. You can see that here. And then the undefined is the name column of the data table. So let's reset. It goes a little slow when you're dealing with this much data. Uh, so there's the ID. It was showing us those. And then it was looking for a column called name and couldn't find it. So we're going to replace name with this column, which is the word. So we'll come back over here and where it says name, we're going to put word with a capital W. And now the next time it runs that long list down in the console log, it'll be the actual name of all the words. And again, there are a thousand, so I'm going to try to think of a way to shorten. Uh, I'm going to tell it to only run the words that are the proper length. So I'm going to say, if records, square bracket I, the one we're looking at, dot length, and that's with a capital L, equals 5, then print them off. So this time it's only going to give us all the five-letter words. And you can see there's a bunch of them. And it's still running, so let's just go ahead and reset it. And now what we want to do is instead of printing them down there in the console, uh, let's get rid of that. Let's add them to a new array. So let's uh, make a variable up here called word list. Word underscore list. And let's set that equal to square brackets to let the computer know we're going to have a list. And now every time a word length equals five, let's add it to that list. So we're going to append right here. The name of the list is called word list. And the item that we're going to add is records square bracket i dot word. Okay. So when we run that, we're going to have a giant list of a word list with a bunch of words. Let's just check over here. And let's see, word list. And looks like we're going to get 832 five-letter words. That'll keep us going for a while. Okay, that part's working. Now that we have a giant list of eligible words, we don't have to hard code just one word every time. We can let it pick for us. So we're going to reassign the value of answer right here after the if. We'll say answer equals word list square brackets. Let's just put zero for now, and that should be there. So let's check the console. It's a word list. And you can see it's 832 words, but the very first word is there. And now, 
let's come down here below it and let's check what the value of answer is. See how it's there? So with that in mind, we could say word list. Let's do number 831. Reset and run it. So there's 832 words here, but the first one's in position zero. So you can see the last word on the list is fatal, and our answer is fatal. So we know this is working. Now we can just randomize it with a math random number block. Let's get rid of all this. We'll leave answer there. We want to go from zero on this random number to 831, uh, but we can just say uh, word underscore list dot length minus one, which is the same thing as 831. Now when we reset and run, it gave us small that time, catch the next time, so I think that's working, gave us again. So now every time we play the game, we get a random a random five-letter word from the list. And there it is. You've made your simple Wordle clone.